Gulfstream 650 Fleet After Start Procedure Training Video Before commencing procedure, make sure that both engines are stabilized. Engine Start Switch Off Stop APU By doing so you initiate shutdown sequence. APU air must be on when shooting down the APU. Then select engine bleed air to on. Alternate fuel boost pumps to on. Select cowl and wing anti-ice to auto, or on if required for operation and icing conditions. Smart probes heaters and windshield heater to on. By selecting smart probes to on you transfer fly-by-wire system to normal law. Wait 5 seconds before moving flight controls. Now you can perform ground spoiler check. Select ground spoiler switch to armed. You should see all panels fully deployed on flight control synoptic. By advancing one of the thrust lever, you should retract all panels. Check logic on opposite thrust lever as well. When you bring both thrust levers back to idle, all panels should deploy automatically. When ground spoiler check completed, Select ground spoiler switch back to off. All panels should retract simultaneously. Start flight control check by deploying flight spoilers. Perform full deflection aileron sweep and check respective panels movement. Continue with elevator and rudder full deflection. Good flight controls check requires full reverse video rectangles at each flight controls panel. Last thing to do is to retract back flight spoilers and check full aileron deflection again. At this time, inboard spoilers should not extend. Nose wheel steering on. Co-pilot select flaps to take off position, and verify its movement on flight control synoptic. Co-pilot select transponder to on. At the end of APU shutdown cycle, select master off. Now you have airplane ready for taxi. Perform after start checklist and request taxi clearance. Thank you.